What I'm going to do now, I'm going to tell you a story about gyrocopters and how I got involved. And a friend of mine had a shop where he fabricated and built all kinds of stuff. And he did some work on my airboat. And while I was there, he had a gyrocopter he was building. And uh, I got interested in him telling me stories about it. So uh, I listened and talked and read books and stuff. And I found one for sale on the other coast, a Benson type, which is just a little old skinny thing. And uh, it had a Kawasaki two-cycle motor on it. So I bought it and brought it back. And I didn't like the engine at all. It had a real narrow power curve. So in order to learn to fly one of these things, you need an instructor. Well, I decided I could do it myself. So I got this idiot myself to teach me how to fly. So we go out to the airport to Mockley, and you get the engine to running, and you start taxiing down the runway or taxiway, wherever you can find some ground to do it on. And when it gets, gets your rotors up to pretty good speed, the front wheel come off the ground. And as you're learning, you'll have the front wheel come up and the back wheel touch, and front wheel down and back. And finally, when you get a little time on it, you can just tax it on the main gear. You got two wheels on the axle and a nose gear that you steer with and a tail wheel, which is a little bitty fat. So that was the first thing. You had to learn to keep it on the main gear and go for a long time. So about that time you get that down pat, you wore out a pair of tires. So you need to get you some more tires and you start taxing some more. Then the next thing is you keep moving the stick back when your rotor blades are really up to speed. Because to start this thing, you've got to face it into the wind and you stand there in front of the seat and pat up the rotor blades and get them up to a pretty good speed. Then you sit in the seat and when you do that, the nose wheel comes down and you move the uh, stick back and start taxing. And as the air goes through the rotor blades, they get faster and faster. So now you've got to where you can taxi on two wheels. So now you keep going faster and faster and ease the stick back and it eases up off the ground. Now the trick here is to fly about two or three feet off the ground, the full length of the runway, and then back off the throttle and let it set down easily without turning it into a bunch of garbage. So you do that for a long time. And then later, you actually take off and fly around the patch and it just about scares you to death. But that's the way you learn. And that's the way I started. And like I say, I didn't like the engine. It was hard to handle. Uh, you, you couldn't get a, a steady power curve. So we took it off and put a Volkswagen engine on it. This is a good, dependable, fairly easy to start engine. You had to hand prop it to start it. And uh, so then I got to flying different distances with the boys that was there. And we'd go from there to other towns and other airstrips and did some cross countries. And I really enjoyed that. So then, being the type of person I am, I went and found some Holly, not Holly, uh, dual Weber carburetor set up. Had two carburetors and a big old manifold and they stuck out the side of that Volkswagen like bullhorns. So that gave me more power. And then, well, I could use some more power. So we put some bigger jugs on it, bigger pistons, and then we got that to go. Well, then I got to do a lot of flying. So then a friend of mine, which was the brother-in-law to the guy that got me started in it, he wanted a gyro. So I sold it to him. So then I sat down and I called some people in Canada that was making a kit for a fully enclosed two-seat gyrocopter. So you could buy it in kits and, and they'd send you a kit and, and in a few weeks they'd send you another and then they'd keep, not to keep you busy but not stack up everywhere. So I did and finally put it together and then I did. Uh, I hired a professional <laughs> instructor to give me some pointers on this one because it was kind of spooky. Very powerful. Had a Volkswagen engine on. So he did, and I made it, and we soloed, and uh, I loved it. We flew. I flew everything. Then I run into Julie. 
And I took Julie for a ride in that thing, and Lord, she liked that thing. So we started going everywhere. We went all over the state of Florida, coast to coast. And uh, in the meantime, she picked up the controls and learned how to fly it and tax it, and she did a really fine job. And uh, But we had some real experiences. Some was kind of breathtaking. But <laughs> I'd never really been scared, but I'd been really worried a time or two, and that was about the extent of it. Getting into hailstorms and stuff like that is really spooky fog and so you know we, we had a lot of fun and uh, in the future I would like to sit down and tell you all some of the stories about what we did that was kind of worrisome <laughs> it looked scary but it would worry you a little bit get your attention so if that uh, if that's good for y'all we'll see you again next time bye <laughs>